Hi, I'm Julian Frost, N3JF with Ham Radio Outlet, and we're here at the Ham Radio Outlet store here in Anaheim, and I'm here with Jeff Paget. Yes. Hi, Jeff. How are you Hi, doing? Julian, thanks for being good with to see us. You. Good to see you. What are we talking about today? Well, we're going to take time. I'm Jeff, W5ABQ. I work here at uh, HRO Anaheim. Um, we're going to talk about some Heil Pro Set models, headsets. Um, we get a lot of questions on a daily basis in regard to compatibility issues, especially, and uh, the features of these headsets. We're going to take uh, time and uh, share about three models, then also take a look at the compatibility with the adapter cables that Heil offers us. So we're going to need different adapters for different radios, yes. right? Yes. One headset, multiple radios. Okay. That's one of the great features of a Heil headset and microphone. Awesome. All right, before we continue with the video, please consider subscribing to our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube channels. Subscribing really helps us out. Thank you very much. So let's get going. What do we have? All right, we're going to start with the uh, ProSet 6. This is the entry level, and uh, this is a very lightweight, only weighs 10.6 uh, ounces. Features a dynamic microphone, unless it's an ICOM uh, compatible, and then uh, it uses the condenser type, the electric uh, condenser element, and we'll talk more about that with the uh, the uh, adapter cables. So these come with washable ear covers. They're, it's extremely comfortable, not too heavy, and um, yep, replacement ear pads are available, and uh, again, only 10.6 ounces as far as weight. It's one of the favorites of many of our operators. And it does have the unique spatial widening, the reversal, phase reversal switch, which helps in regard to uh, receiving DX and during pileups, right there on the side. Yep. Easy to operate, very comfortable, lightweight. That's the uh, ProSet 6. Next, we have the ProSet Elite 6. Is this uh, one here? Yep, that's the one. Going to be uh, considered a little bit extra more comfortable. It's got some extra padding, thicker headset on the top, and um, weighs in about 13.8 ounces. Um, same, has the phase reversal switch, which moves the audio acoustically and, um, and provides a really good signal. Again, the, uh, the ear covers are washable, and the ear pads are replaceable. They both come with an HC6... Uh, element and uh, the next one would be the Pro 7. And as many know, the Pro 7, I'll let you hold that, uh, come, is an aviation style headset, very rugged, and does a fantastic job like no other of reducing noise. It can actually do a 26 dB noise reduction. Now, I do want to warn you. Many of our customers and operators joke that they fail to tell their spouses uh, that they can't hear them talk when they're on the radio. So if the spouse is trying to get the uh, operator's attention, just remember, these really do redu reduce noise. They come with two types of ear pads, both foam and gel. We do have replacements as well. It does come with a clip-on push-to-talk, two-inch diameter push-to-talk. And also, you have a straight cable and a coil cable to hook up your Pro 7 headset. And for uh, options, we have the Foot Switch 3 is an option as well. Unfortunately, we're sold out of the hand switch. Many of you might be familiar with. You might have seen it on Last Man Standing. When Tim used his ICOM 7700, he always used a hand switch. Uh, also for the Pro 7, we have the HC74 element for DXing and for contesting. Um, and so I want to take time, though, also to share with you in regard to the question about the cables, the adapter cables. And uh, one of the great resources would be at the HeilHamRadio.com website. If you click on their products page, it will take you to a link, then you can look at their product compatibility guide for all the different types of cables. Now for the headsets, uh, the part number is always going to start with an AD1. And I'll talk more about that in just a moment. But just remind you that uh, sometimes customers will order incorrectly the CC1, which is an XLR type connection. That's more for the PR type microphones rather than the headsets. So. 
For these ProSet headsets, depending on which rig you have, for example, if you have a Kenwood TS590SG or an 890, the AD1K, K for Kenwood, with the 8-pin round would be the cable that you would want. Modular, there's the Kenwood for like, example, the TS480, HX or the SAT. Then we have the Yesu, very common, one of our most sold AD1Y, which is the 8-pin round for like the 7300. And I'm sorry, the, uh, uh, not the 7300, that's a, that's an icon. That's an icon. <laughs> that's good, I'm glad you know, I'm yeah, glad you yeah, know that. Absolutely, that's absolutely. Uh, this is for the typical eight pin round Yesu radio. Unfortunately, I'm out of the modular. And this would go for the FTDX 101 D model or the MP. And we have then um, our ICOM adapter cables. Now this one, is where sometimes confusion will set in because most of these headsets are designed for dynamic type element, whereas the ICOM system uses a condenser type, electric uh, type, which requires five volts DC bias power. So these adapter cables will come with a no capacitor, which will not block the DC. So you need to make sure if you have an ICOM 7300, 7610, for example, you would use the ICOM IC, uh, regular IC, then you have the AD1 uh, ICM from uh, modular, which would be like the ICOM 7100, which uses an RJ type modular connection. And, and just a reminder, uh, we do carry a lot of the main brands, the three top, uh, Kenwood, ICOM, Yesu, but we, we also have cables for Alinko, uh, even Collins Gear, Drake, Tintec, and so forth. So. Uh, your ham radio outlet service rep will be glad to answer any questions in regard to these compatibility um, topics. And uh, any other questions, Julie? No, the website, if you have a radio, you can look at the web yes. website, yes. scroll down to accessories, and you should see yes. the headsets that are available for your radio, yep. along with the correct adapter that comes with it. That's correct. If you have any questions, by all means, give an HRO store a call and uh, one of our sales reps, or even Jeff, if you uh, yep. happen to call Anaheim, yep. will uh, be able to tell you exactly which adapter you need for which headset. And just a quick reminder, Bob Heil always says, it, it all starts with the microphone, at the microphone. So it's very important that we have a good compatible uh, adapters and cables and good audio, not just a, s a strong signal, but good, clean, crisp, clear, and that articulate type of audio. Just, just like you are today. Thank you very awesome. much. So um, we plan to do another video at some point in the future on uh, the high-on microphones and the adapters and so on that you might need for your radio. But in the meantime, Jeff, thank you so much. Thank you, Appreciate Joe. it. My pleasure. And uh, we will catch you later. All right. All right. Take care, guys. Take care. 73. 73.